All right, what's up everyone? Good morning. I had to make a video this morning. Make sure you watch this whole video as I want to talk about D1, D2, D3 soccer. Um, but before we get into it, yesterday both our teams had a game against a really good professional side here in the second division. Really good, really organized. Um, one of the contenders each year to go up and we put on a clinic. I mean, look at these goals. <laughs> Thing. This is what drives me crazy. I, you guys think I'm crazy. Wait, there's a method to my madness when we start our professional team. Watch what we do in the world of football. But we have D1, D2, D3 players. We have D3 players that their coaches message me and go, why is he there? He's not good enough. What are you talking about? I have D3 players banging goals, dominating the game. It's, it's crazy. So listen, if you, if you, ah, it, it's crazy. So, um, and this is what's wrong with U.S. soccer. If you're a kid getting out of high school, get the, don't worry about don't worry about college soccer. It's a joke. We have D1, D2, D3 players, and they're all on the same level. Some of them, and some of them went to top schools, and some of them went to small schools, and they're just as good as the boys who went to the the, the, the top schools. So, and I always say, and I always say, if I could get an all-time soccer visa 11 and play in an MLS league, we do very well. And I'll say that again, an all-time 11 in the MLS league. We had some, we have, we had, we have, we continue to get some ballers. So, um, exciting. This is just great for me yesterday. What a performance from the boys. And we're making noise. We have presidents of teams here in Costa Rica coming, calling us after games saying, who are these guys? Keep, keep grinding. 